Hi, welcome to Biostock Studio. Expression Biotech is currently waiting on phase three results with its COVID-19 vaccine, a study run by Bavarian Nordic. It's also moving closer to clinical stages with its breast cancer vaccine. The company is now carrying out a rights issue of approximately 102 million Swedish kroner. And here to tell us more is the company's CEO, Bent Fransen. Welcome, Bent. Thank you, Mike. Well, first of all, what is Expression's main goal? Our main goal is to save lives. And we do that by developing vaccines against uh, the most fatal and life debilitating diseases around. Well, one of the diseases that uh, so many are still talking about is COVID, of course, and you are developing a COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, even though some would say the pandemic is perhaps over, why is it important to still develop a COVID-19 vaccine? It's true. It's a pandemic that may wane off and experts are saying that this may turn into an endemic, which means that it will be more like an influenza-like recurrent disease and you still need vaccines uh, against that. And our vaccine, which Bevera Nordic has the exclusive license to and develop in a clinical phase three at the moment, uh, has uh, those features. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, as we know, there are several other COVID-19 vaccines out there. Uh, how, is, uh, how is the vaccine that you're developing going to be better than those? Uh, there are some very important advantages, actually, uh, first and foremost, uh, the durability, the fact that it can protect against the virus for a longer time. Bevera Nordic uh, announced very nice six months data in October 2022. And bear in mind, comparing with the dominating COVID-19 vaccine, they wane off after a few months. And we hope that we can get also some nice 12 months data here mm -hmm. very, very soon here in the spring. Mm -hmm. uh, on top of that, uh, you have very strong effect against all variants of concern and a very nice uh, stability. So it can be even handled at room temperature, which is good for also uh, regions uh, of subtropical and tropical parts of the mm. world. Will that be uh, one of the main markets then for you, the, the subtropical? I, tropical and now I'm speaking on, I, I, I cannot speak on Bevera and Nordic's behalf actually, mm. uh, but, but uh, I would assume so. Yeah. <laughs> Your uh, second asset uh, is a breast cancer vaccine. What results have you seen so far with this candidate? We've seen very nice preclinical proof of concept. Uh, we've, again, in several uh, preclinical studies shown that our breast cancer vaccine has the capability to block gro growth of tumors and even block the development of tumors. Mm. So that's very encouraging. Absolutely. And uh, what does the competitive landscape look like there? Here we look into standard of care being dominated by chemotherapy and monoclonal antibodies. Uh, monoclonal antibodies generate more than $11 billion of annual sales, but they actually come with a uh, flaw. Uh, they can develop resistance. That means that 20 to 30 percent of women undergoing breast cancer and monoclonal therapy will not get a benefit from that uh, therapy at all. We've seen in preclinical setting already that we can overcome that resistance. You also engage in several partnerships. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about these partnerships and if you're currently looking for new partners as well? Yes, uh, across our pipeline, we have actually already some partnerships. I think Bavaria Nordic is uh, the dominating one, uh, sponsoring the clinical phase three uh, and the, the clinical uh, development on the COVID-19 asset. Regarding CMV vaccine, we've recently announced a collaboration with uh, Evaction, a Danish biotech, uh, where we join our uh, research expertise areas uh, in developing a, a CMV vaccine. We also have a number of academic collaborations, both in, uh, in malaria as well as, as in another influenza project. Mm -hmm. We'll be looking more into to partnerships where we look into across biotech and biopharmaceutical companies looking at, at assets which are somewhere closer to, uh, towards the, the clinical phases and be looking into potentially licensing in. Well, you, you've talked about the expertise, looking at expertise uh, in partnerships and potential partnerships. Could you talk a little bit more about uh, your uh, in-house expertise, uh, expressions uh, expertise? Yes. Actually, we originate from being experts in, in making the active ingredient in a vaccine. 
So when we started in 2010, we had our technology to produce protein antigens, and that's still a key expertise area. And that's actually what is challenging to a lot of scientists around the world, making the active ingredient in a vaccine. With this, we can do. And uh, finally, uh, we talked about the, uh, the fact that Expression is raising money at the moment. Um, how do you plan to, to use these funds? Most of those funds are going towards the breast cancer vaccine project, around 40 to 45 percent. We want to be able to bring it into clinical phase one in 2024. In addition to that, we uh, develop on our technology platform. Uh, we want to enforce our patent position. And we have some very strong research backing this up, which requires more financial resources. And then thirdly, looking into partnerships, meaning being ready also to actually take on board new new partnerships in that setting. This is what we aim to, to spend the money on. Mm -hmm. That was our conversation with uh, Expression Biotech's CEO, Bent Franzen. Thank you so much, Bent, for joining us today. Thank you, Mike.